What's your favorite food? <laughs> tortellini. How would you like to die? Eating too much tortellini. <laughs> okay, what's the meanest lie you ever told someone to get them out first thing in the morning? I had to meet my wife for breakfast. <laughs> about a couple in their early 30s that fall in love and find themselves on opposite sides of the country and have to deal with the trials and tribulations of a long distance relationship. I found this to be totally refreshing because it was so much more real. And a lot of romantic comedies are sort of set in a little bit of a far-fetched world, a heightened reality, and, and you want that uh, at times. But this one is much more grounded in reality, so I was really attracted to it. Unlike any other rom-com I had read, they would really trusted in the inherent drama and comedy of just two people. The, simple, the simplicity of that is two people coming together and trying to make it work. And, um, and they allowed us to improvise. There was room for ad-libbing and, and, it, and it made for a very organic, natural experience. Now I finally got everything back on track, you know, with my life and school and then... I don't want to lose you. I'll be here and you'll be there and we'll just we'll be long distance because quite frankly, I'm crazy about you. I'm crazy about you too. I think it's so common now, at least in the States, to have long distance relationships. I've had struggled through them, and yet there's never been a movie that really has tackled this subject. I did a long distance relationship for two years. Yeah, and it was it was it was tough but incredible at the same time. So that's why I think I love the script so much. You know, I I, I believe that people will have laughed a lot, and then they'll be like. That got surprisingly real uh, about how, you know, the difficulties of making relationships work. And uh, but I, you know, I hope that it's really enjoyable.